Jesus was rebuking the scribes and the Pharisees and he called them blind people who were leading the blind. Imagine with me that a blind man is leading another blind man. They hold on to you believing you know where you are going but because you lack the gift of sight. Hmm. Hallelujah. There are many individuals who are not able to translate the things that they have seen in the spirit to find expression because number one, they do not even understand how to see in the spirit nor how to interpret the things that are seen. Do you know that almost everyone here, by the time I'm done showing you what I'm showing you, you will know that the spirit of God has been opening the blueprint of your destiny once and again. For some of you, because you did not have the gift of sight, you are not even aware that it is God showing you and I have taught you that there is timing to destiny welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence the Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word is it life as you listen and watch may you experience the transformative power of God's life most people copy what others are doing they do not have the gift of sight to know what God is doing. So when they find out that something is working, everybody just says, this is how ministry is being done. Let's do it that way. This is how business is being done. And then after 10 years, the person leading you will say, I'm sorry, I really did not see well. And you find out that you may have wasted your time accessing the gift of sight. Let me show you a very interesting story. Luke chapter 18, my goodness. Luke 18 from verse 35. I've read this scripture for decades of my life, but as I was preparing this sermon, the Lord opened my eyes to something I had never seen. And it came to pass, this is the story of blind Bartimaeus. Please follow carefully. That as he was come nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man, sat at the way begging one of the consequences of blindness you will remain limited a certain blind man with feet to walk hands to reach a mind to think but because of blindness he sat at the wayside the same way that people follow to actualize their destiny he was not in the way he sat by the side begging Number two, the Bible says, and hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. Hmm. Next verse, please, quickly. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passed by, 38, and he cried, watch this, and said, Thou son of David, have mercy on me, 39. And they which went before rebuked him, that he should hold his peace but he cried so much the more thou son of david have mercy on me next verse and jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him follow carefully now and when he was come near he asked him what was the question saying what will thou that i do for you the man never said open my eyes he said that i may receive There is no mention in that story of open my eyes. It was about receiving that I may receive my sight. He didn't say open my eyes because his eyes could be open. I, I doubt if his eyes was closed. Are we together? Just because your eyes are open does not mean you have received the gift of sight. His eyes were not closed. But the man was blind. So blindness is beyond your eyes being closed. Give us the scripture. Let's finish up. <laughs> and he said, Lord, 41, let's go back please. That I may receive. It's a gift that you give all men who are interested. That I may receive my sight. 42. And Jesus said unto him, Since you understand that sight is a gift, more than the opening of eyes jesus did not say your eyes be open what did he say receive thy sight your faith has brought you this salvation 
called the gift of sight receive thy sight next verse 43 and immediately he did what you notice the bible never talks about opening of the eyes immediately he received his sight and following him glorified God and all the people when they saw it they gave thanks look at me that meant if you saw the blind man you would think he was seen because his eyes were open it was only him and his situation that showed that he was blind are we together now if you saw him you would not see his eyes closed this way because your eyes can be closed and yet you are still seeing for instance when the bible tells us that paul's eyes went closed as saul even though he was blind physically the bible says he was in the house remember that he went to a city called straight and he waited there and he was still having visions even with the closed eyes so that a man's eye is opened does not mean he has received the gift of sight jesus says seeing you do not see hearing you do not hear hallelujah now there are four channels when god gives a man the gift of sight when god grants a man access to the seeing eye it expresses itself in four principal channels and i want you to please pay attention because this is the gift that god wants to give someone you your eyes have been open all your life but you will be finding out that you've not been seen he laid hands on someone who was blind and said what do you see say i see men like trees and he laid hands on him the second time and he said i see clearly the opening of the eyes does not necessarily mean sight i repeat again you can be looking and yet not see your eyes are open but you do not have sight the request of blind Bartimaeus was not that his eyes should open he said that i may receive my sight there are four prophetic channels according to scripture when god opens the eyes of a man these are the channels that he uses to communicate his intent to that man. You can know you have received the gift of sight because these four channels will be activated immediately in your life. And it is by those channels you will be able to navigate your path through destiny. Moving from one stride, one accomplishment, one kingdom exploit to another. Are you ready? Number one. The first channel that is activated when you receive the gift of sight are your dreams and visions write it down please your dreams and visions are the first channels that show whether or not you have received the gift of sight when god gives a man the seeing eye it tells immediately in your dreams and visions joel chapter 2 and verse 28 Joel 2 28 and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh it says and your sons and daughters shall prophesy help me read the rest your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions when a man does not have the seeing eye you will never be able to have the platform of dreams and visions to be used by God to reveal the blueprint of your destiny for you. I hope you know that the capacity to dream dreams and to see visions is a gift from God to help direct the course of people's lives. In Job chapter 33, 14 and 15, write it please. Job 33, 14 and 15. Watch this. It says, For God speaketh once, yea, twice, yet a man perceives it not. 15. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in the slumberings upon the bed. You know what he was saying? That every time you go to bed, while your body is sleeping, 
the spirit of God is coming with messages that connects to your destiny connects to the next level of your life in that realm of the spirit called the realm of dreams and visions Satan is also interested in that realm because he can manipulate the things you see and hear you will wake up with messages that you think are from God and obey them sincerely unto your destruction hallelujah there are people today who were misdirected because of the dreams they had misdirected because of the visions they had and have sincerely remained loyal to those dreams and visions to their perdition if dreams and visions were not powerful satan would not be interested in your sleep that when men go to bed ladies and gentlemen a lot of transactions happen in the spirit dreams and visions is God helping someone Genesis chapter 41 give us verse 25 and then verse 28 the story of, jo of Joseph and Joseph said unto Pharaoh the dream that Pharaoh the dream of Pharaoh is one watch this God had showed Pharaoh through that dream what he is about to do God has shown him what what he is about to do go to verse 28 he repeats it again this is the thing which i have spoken unto pharaoh what god is about to do he showed unto pharaoh has god shown you what he's about to do in your life has god shown you what he's about to do in your family has God shown you what he wants to do with your destiny has God shown you what he wants to do with your ministry have you been wasting the six or eight hours that when your body lies down the spirit of grace comes wanting to show you the steps you must take men have woken up out of dreams and visions into enviable destinies an example of such a man was solomon solomon went to bed ladies and gentlemen and by the advantage of dreams and visions god came to him and a destiny altering transaction happened solomon what should i give you whilst you are asleep do you know that the revelation about the captivity of the nation of Israel alongside their exodus came to Abraham when he fell asleep? It was in a dream and in a vision God came to him that a time will come a people will be... Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. If you miss the opportunity of dreams and visions being used as a prophetic tool, you will miss out a lot in destiny. I remember in 2013, God had already helped us and we're doing well in ministry. Hallelujah. We had just started Koinonia now. And I remember I was feeling a stirring in my heart. Should we move to Abuja? And then a prophetic encounter. I think it was a dream or so. I saw a plane lift from Zaria on its way coming to Abuja. Before it would land, it crashed. And immediately I knew and it was written here and I there immediately I knew that this thing was not of God I think someone else had the same experience and sent me a text to say listen this is what I saw I knew by the advantage of dreams that even though it was in my prophetic blueprint it was not yet the timing you can see what is right and not know the timing you will still fail as if you are in error Pay attention to what you are learning tonight because for somebody God is reigniting the gift of dreams purifying your dreams again there are many people hear me there are many people who danger had been averted in their lives because of the power of dreams the power of visions hallelujah praise the name of the Lord there are many people today with all due respect to them who should not have died if they knew how to buy into God's voice using the medium of dreams and visions. For others they saw, but they could not understand what was being said. Dreams, visions. Have you ever wondered why people go to bed and as soon as they lay their head, a miracle happens is that not what happened to Jacob in chapter 28 of Genesis the Bible says he went to um, now laws and laid down there to sleep the Bible says when the man went to bed oh 
suddenly he had a dream and he saw a ladder that connected the earth to the heavens and God speaking there. I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, many of the questions you have been asking God, Lord, what is the next phase of my life? Should I stay in Abuja? Should I go to America? If you understand and receive this gift of the seen eye, you will marvel and wonder that you will go to bed and one night's sleep will download the destiny, the next 10 years of your life. You will stand up and be writing like someone is dictating and you will take steps that lead you triumphantly. It's an advantage that the saints have. Dreams and visions. When Satan wants to abort and sabotage your destiny he tries to stop you from seeing because satan is a master at creating blindness are we together he does not just blind your mind he blinds your eyes he blinds your understanding two things when satan wants to destroy the life of dreams and visions he will manipulate it so that you keep taking wrong steps in honor of what you are seeing and you keep failing then a time will come in disappointment you will no longer trust what you see are we together i saw this i took a step later i found out it was not god i saw this i took a step later i found out it was not god it will plant fear in you so that the next thing you see you say no my hand is not there again i will not make this mistake and in it you will lose precious opportunities do you know that the rescue of jesus as a baby came by revelation to joseph through a dream if dreams were not powerful and were not god ordained god will not use it that the best channel to communicate the rescue of the savior who could die was a dream hallelujah when believers go to sleep it is not just your body lying lifeless for hours it is that you are giving your spirit man an opportunity to interact with the spirit of God and draw forth prophetic messages, pictures and imageries. Many of the realms that this ministry by the grace of God is working in now, they were realms that I saw in dreams and visions yesteryears. Didn't get the pictures quite clearly for some of them, but I knew in types and shadows and some of them clearly saw that this was the direction every confusion in your life that has come as a result of haziness in dreams and visions every assumption that has now cost you some of you it has cost you finances it has cost you relationships it's cost you your health in the name of jesus may that veil be torn right now may that veil be torn right now hallelujah i hope you know sit down please the first thing Satan manipulated in the life of Adam and Eve, Eve particularly, was their eyes. The dynamics of the fall of man started with his speaking, his manipulation, but it went to their eyes. The Bible says when the woman saw, what she heard was there but until it affected what she saw it had no power over her regardless what the serpent was saying she still had her stamina and her nakedness was not there regardless the information but the moment it translated to an alteration of her vision when she saw she acted upon what she saw and fell hallelujah in fact it was it was Paul, I believe, who was speaking, he said, I fear lest Satan beguile you with the same subtlety that he used for Eve in the garden. Do you know how he made them fall? He manipulated the power of their sight. He casted an image upon them and they responded to that image to their detriment. Question, do you know what happened to the four lepers and the people who ran away and brought blessings to Samaria? It was first a manipulation of what they heard, but it was beyond what they heard. I believe with all my, my heart that their eyes had a role to play. What you hear may not be enough. to You can't just be running because you had sounds. There has to be something your eyes see to convince you because you can doubt what you hear, but you cannot doubt what you see. There are times that when you place a call, 
you are hearing someone's voice but either because there is a network problem or perhaps the person has some cold he's not able to speak clearly and sometimes you have to check who you are talking to with your eyes and still see the name and you say oh you are still the person you hardly doubt say a video call when you are seeing the person the voice may not sound like the person but with your eyes you can verify that this is the person hallelujah are we blessed dreams and visions saints of god hear me in this end time god is restoring the seeing eye helping people to now begin to have genuine dreams and visions that are destiny compliant and some of you you came here because your life has marked time for far too long you don't see again you don't hear again and your ministry has gone down because you don't even know the next chapter whereas in the realm of the spirit you are supposed to have entered the next phase maybe of your apostolic ministry maybe of your prophetic ministry maybe of your prayer ministry maybe of your giving maybe your business is supposed to have gone to the next level but the bankruptcy of the seen eye has kept you in one place tonight you will receive your sight glory be to God Glory be to God. Hi, Glory be to God. Can I tell you, when you have the seen eye, a man can smile at you and you know he's still an enemy because you can look beyond the paraphernalia. When you have the seen eye, even the keys of Judas will not deceive you. There are many believers who have fallen as cheap prey to the hypocrisy of man. If you are a leader here, hear me. If you just depend on yes sir, daddy, man of God, get ready for pain in your life in ministry. You must have the seen eye that beyond that which men do, you can see into the heart. When Judas came and kissed Jesus, Jesus held his hand and said, you betray your master with a kiss. Judas, it is not a sign of love. A kiss should be a sign of love, but I've seen beyond this. The seen eye. When Peter was speaking, you would think he was speaking in, in expressing empathy. Oh, Jesus, don't go to the cross. The gift of the seen eye. Satan, get deep behind me. And then Peter said, what happened? He said, Peter, blindness. Satan has desired to sift you like wheat. So just because you spoke like God yesterday does not mean you are speaking like him today. If Satan could come and manipulate the sincerity of a man, the seen eye. It is the seen eye that can make you get a job of 500,000 and yet you look beyond it and see that in the midst of that job as good as it is there is still something that can derail you out of destiny and you would rather follow the path of the one that gives you 200,000 but within it you will find your destiny helper there seen I there are people who left where their helpers were and traveled to where their enemies were not knowing literally took their hands to their enemies because they lacked the seeing eye ladies and gentlemen your confidence in life is highly predicated on your ability to see the prophet in spite of the threat of the armies he stood still in confidence because his servant was blind and god said i know the problem of this man and inspired the prophet to open his eyes and he saw that they that were with them were by far greater than they that were against them ladies and gentlemen when you have the seen eye as a man of God you can look at five members and see nations the seen eye the seen eye right from the days of nothing by the grace of God and the days of no influence no voice no whatever 
by the privilege of the seen eye our confidence was still high knowing that God does not lie can I tell you when God shows you the future you will stand confident you would dance in the midst of nothing like a madman because you are seeing what others are not seeing you will get up from a dream you will get up from a vision and tap your loved ones and say hallelujah deliverance has come for this family they will say we don't understand what you are saying they will say I have seen it Hallelujah. When there was a storm, the apostle got up and said, you know what? Have no fear. The angel of the Lord has appeared to me and he showed me that there shall be no loss. And the Bible says upon that confidence, they saw through the storm until they arrived at an island called Melita. The storms in your life today are overwhelming you and telling on your integrity as far as your love for God is concerned because you have no eyes to see beyond the now. If you have the eyes to see beyond the now, you will sit in, even in the midst of nothing and sing praises and give thanks because you have seen beyond the now. Please sit down. Dreams and visions. When it's time to pray, we are going to ask the Lord, purify my dreams, purify my vision, and for some of you, I don't know what happened to your Christian life that your visions are not clear again or you do not even see. There are some of you, you were so graced and gifted by God. You can literally sit down like you are watching me and watch the movies of your destiny unravel. Either through carelessness, familiarity or lack of discernment, you lost it. Tonight, may there be a restoration. I say it again, may there be a restoration. that I may receive my sight the sight I lost that I may receive my sight when God gives you the gift and the miracle of a seen eye the first area of your life that begins to speak is your dreams and your visions danger will be averted when you see opportunities will be prepared adequately for when you see you will be able to know what God is saying now if you are in ministry, I'd like you to listen to me. End time ministry will not happen for you if you do not have a seen eye. You will go and preach in places you should not go and ruin your life and destiny and your reputation and God's name upon your life because of very juicy opportunities that may be inconsistent with God's program. The seen eye. It was through a dream that the Lord spoke to Abimelech. When Abimelech was going to take Abraham's wife, a dream came. Yes, Mr. Man, this is a covenant woman. A covenant child is coming out of this. You are a dead man already if you fight this, this vision. And Abimelech got up in the morning and said, I'm sorry. And gave Abraham gifts. That's how he left Egypt wealthy. Hallelujah. Can I tell you the truth? You must pray for a resurrection of your dreams. Our fathers, some of them were not educated, but my goodness, through the channel of dreams and visions, they walked in accuracy that did not make sense. They said things five years before it happened. You have your eyes open already. What you are praying for tonight is not just an open eyes is a seen eye your eyes have been open for far too long but the veil is still upon you and you continue to fall prey to the vicissitudes of life we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.